Hi guys, so today I'm really excited to share a review of this mini sewing machine from Varmax. It is through Amazon, so the link will be through the Amazon um, site to uh, the Varmax store that sells this cute little sewing machine. You might have seen something similar to this, but I like this one because it has the extension table. So I really wanted to review that and check it out for you guys. Inexpensive, um, actual sewing with the double threads and has two speed control. So we'll talk a little bit more about it, but I just want to show you the packaging. It came just like this, really cute and it has some different information on it. It says it's equipped with lighting lamp and thread cutter, which is always great. Uh, easy to cuff the threads. A large spool can also be used with the device. Um, and then you have a replaceable bobbin. Um, and the bobbin says it's easy replacement down here. Two speed control. It does have a foot pedal, which is always great. So you can kind of use that to help you kind of go around corners or go around edges or anything that's kind of curved on sewing. You kind of want to slow down on those parts then so that it has a foot pedal. So we'll try that out and make sure that that's going to um, do a good job there. So I'm going to get this opened up. I'll have the links for you guys. I'm going to decide what I want to sew for you guys today. Maybe something easy, something back to school. I'm not sure. Um, so we'll see. I'll grab some thread and some um, fabric and I'll let you know about that as I go to it. But let me open this up and we'll check it out. So as soon as I open it, it's really cute, packaged really well. So here's our little table, I believe. And then the machine itself is nice and snug in there. Instruction manual, which I will definitely read while I gather the materials that I'll need, just so I can have a little bit of information. Um, some of these machines are pretty basic, you know, you kind of understand how to work it already, if you have any um, experience with the machine. But let's open that up. There are lots of things. So there's foot pedal and it has a wall plug, which is great. So you don't have to just run it on batteries. It comes with all that. Uh, it comes with some bobbins, pre-threaded, pre-filled. There's two empty ones, which is great because that way you can just fill it with the color that you do need to use. Let's say sometimes you want to use blue or red thread or whatever it is that you need for your project. Extra needle, needle threader, some little items like that. Um, let me see here. Okay, so that's all that's in the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it. Like I said, I'm gonna read through the um, instructions just to have a little bit of idea of some of the bells and whistles on it. Um, let's open this up and see what this looks like. I'm really excited about this little plate, the little extension plate, because you sometimes you need some more stability with the, whatever project you're working with. There's a nice wide opening in here, even though it's a really small machine. And then you have the little extension plate that you can kind of help guide your fabric and keep it over here on this side. So it's there, it opens up like this, and it just clips on, I'm sure. So we'll use that in just a minute. Okay guys, so we're now in my craft room because I wanted to bring it over here just to talk a little bit about it. So the machine has a lot going on. You can use batteries down in here. You can run it off the side with the DC plug, which I will do. You have your foot pedal plug. So I have my foot pedal here, I'll plug that in here. And now that will control turning on and off the machine. And then I have my DC plug, which of course I'll take apart um, so I can get it plugged in, these things. But for right now, I'm just leaving it off to the side just to show you. It has an on and off switch here, so if you do not want to use the foot pedal and you just want to control it by hand, you would push this button in the middle. It would turn it off and on. You have the light switch to turn your little light on. That will show up right here. You have um, uh, a right and left is what it says here. No, I'm sorry, high and low, H and L. So it has the two speeds again, so a faster speed and a slower speed, but they're both pretty fast, so um, you have that option. You have your thread that's gonna come off of this bobbin that you thread through the machine. The manual is very clear on a lot of these things. Um, it tells you here, basically you're gonna use this schematic here to thread it if you want to change out your um, color thread or if you want to use a spool of thread and you just follow the numbers along so it kind of comes through here into the um, this uh, little handle here um, I always forget what this thing's called this little lever and right down in here from the top to the bottom into your um, little guide into the needle okay so you can just follow along that's very simple nothing's really hidden it's all right in front of you if you do not want to use a um, little bobbin you can also Put your complete thread spool here. A large thread spool is a large one, will fit on there perfectly. And then you continue with your threading the same way. You just go through here, through your tension knob, all again throughout those numbers there, throughout the schematic, okay? You can also use this to wind bobbins. You're gonna take your big thread here or whatever you wanna use to put onto your bobbin. You're gonna put it on here. Over here, you're gonna put your empty 
bobbin spool with some thread just kind of in it a little bit in one of these little holes that keeps it kind of tight. And when you turn it on, um, it's going to start spinning and it's going to wind your bobbin that way, okay? But the instructions are very, very clear so you can read on how to do that. That's if your bobbin runs out or if you want to, you know, change the color of your bobbin thread or whatever. Um, what else is there? Stitch adjustment. Right now, with the little piece of fabric that's on here, you, I can see that it is perfect, the thread adjustment. But you always want to practice on whatever it is that you're going to be using, like the thicknesses of uh, fabric, whatever you're going to be using. This is going to be what your perfect uh, surface thread and bottom thread would look like, right? The tension, you have equal amounts kind of at the top and bottom, and they're both kind of even. If you have um, your bobbin's just straight because it's just very loose, um, it's going to look something like this. And it says, in that situation, the bottom thread will be straight and some knots may come out if the surface tension is too loose, okay? In this case, you need to screw in the thread clamping nut clockwise and increase the pressure. So this is your tension. So if it looks something like this, like it's really loose on top and the bottom thread is just kind of running across, you're going to tighten it clockwise, okay? So that way. And if it looks like this, where the top thread is just very tight and the bottom thread is just coming up the bobbin and this makes a big mess. I'd rather see this than this, I'll tell you, but this um, will kind of gather up all that thread down there. You're going to turn it the other direction, okay? So loose bottom thread. Um, it means uh, the top again will be straight and some of the knots may come out. In this case, you need to screw the thread clamping this other direction. Okay, right now I'm not going to touch it because it looks perfect and this is about the thickness of the um, fabric that I'm going to use for our little tutorial here. So again, you would turn it the other way. But that's very clear. Um, again, how to wind the bobbin, um, just how to use the whole thing, needle replacement. Obviously, you're going to bring up your um, shank here that holds the needle. You're just going to turn your handle all the way up until the needle comes up, as you can see there. You can also lift the presser foot if you need a little tension um, given off of that. And then okay, you're just going to turn this. I just want to close up a little bit on the needle information. So after you bring it all the way up here, you would just, um, assuming at that point, you know, you take your thread out, you just unscrew this here. The needle will slide out and you replace your new needle in the same direction. There's a flat area on the needle and there's a rounded side. So just pay attention to how it looks as you bring it out. That's how you're going to replace it. Um, your little light comes here. Your thread cutter is right here. Um, so really nice, really um, nice weight also. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and, like I said, grab some fabric. I will have the instructions as far as what I'm doing down here, and I'll come back and let you know what I think of the um, sewing and those kind of things. If anything comes up, if anything comes up as I'm sewing, I will you know let you know at that point. Um, the bobbin, the bottom bobbin, goes right in here. You just open this up. And it's really easy. If you have to replace it, all you do is replace it in the same direction. The instructions are in the book there. All you do is leave a little bit of the thread out, close it up, and when you go to bring it back up, you just wind your knob here, and the needle will go down in there, and you have to have a threaded needle, and it'll bring the bobbin thread up on its own. So it's really easy. Um, that's not a problem. So just very easy. So all I'm going to do is take this little guy and put him on here. And all it does is slides right on, and because um, it has that little stability kind of kickstand underneath, you're just going to pull that out and make sure this is out like this. And then you have a couple other ones here. Makes it very stable, and it just adds on. Just slide it right on there. And what's really nice about this is that when you're, you can guide your fabric better. Let's say you have this other fabric and you have some out here. It just really stabilizes. It makes it a lot easier than if your hand was just kind of free-floating off over here kind of holding your fabric. So this is really great, really sturdy. Fits on there nice and snug, it has like a little grip to it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so before we jump into using the uh, machine, I just wanna show you, this is what I created. Of course, I already filmed this. I'm just coming back before we sh I show you the tutorial there. Um, to make a little lunch bag, and I did it in Christmas colors because I had some Christmas fabric, but also just to show you that they're so small and inexpensive to make, like they don't use very much fabric, that you can make this for every season so your child can take his little lunch to school or yourself, you know, to uh, work. So it's just a little lunch bag made out of fabric, obviously reusable, um, really cute. And so I'm just letting you know in the instructions there that you can use um, two different fabrics like I did here, 
or you can use one thicker fabric, um, like denim or something like that, to make your little bag. So hopefully you guys like that. Um, it'll be something that you can make for back to school. And uh, I just want to show it to you so you have an idea of what we're making. And um, stay tuned and we'll try out this little guy.
Okay guys, I'm gonna quickly just show you this last part because it is kind of tricky. So you're making the bottom gusset, basically, of the bag. And so when I show you those lines, what you're gonna do is sew right across those lines, those little lines that you did about two and a half, three inches in, just so that you have a four to five inch bottom. It just depends on your bag. This one came out a little bit bigger than I expected. Um, so we're just gonna go so straight here, straight here. And I just want you to hear the machine and how the sound um, of it is because Obviously I've been putting music so you can't hear that, but I'm just gonna sew straight across. It's been great having this little tabletop and everything. So I'm just gonna. Isn't that cute? It just sounds so cute. It doesn't have a very loud noise or um, sound. It's just a little sound of a um, sewing machine. And since it does not have a reverse function, I have been picking up the back pedal, uh, back um, little switch there. Uh, press uh, lift there and I just put it back down and I go back in that same direction just so I can reinforce that beginning of the stitch and the end of the stitch okay so um, that's just one way to get around it when you don't have a reverse function um, so yeah I'll keep sewing I'll sew this side up I'll sew the other side up and we will finish it up Last thing you're gonna do after you press it, I still have to press mine, but I just wanted to finish this up, is add a button. So just fold down your flap and whenever you have your little um, hook, just kind of eyeball that and how low you want that to be. And I want it to be just about right here, I guess. Yeah, so I'm just gonna hand sew that button on. Just come in from behind here. I have a needle here. Machine worked great. I love it. Um, that, I'm telling you that little table just having that little table really really helps um, stabilize your fabrics and everything um, it does have actual feed dogs so anyway I'm gonna sew that on in just a minute but it does have feed dogs that um, move the fabric through in a manner that makes it really nice and easy to work with so you don't have the bunching up on top or bunching up at the bottom it's going through because it's pulling it through with those little feed dogs down there so really great inexpensive Thank you so much, Varmex, for sending this for my review. I will definitely keep this also here um, in my craft area so I can pull it out. I've been making a lot of dolls and different things recently. I have a lot of other fabric and um, kind of sewing things I want to do, tutorials, so I'll bring this out uh, whenever you see that. The little table is amazing. I love it. Um, what a small addition that makes a huge difference. So thanks for watching, guys. I think that's all I was going to say um, as far as you know the different features. Really great. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll have the links for you, and I'll have... Um, some pictures of the bag and everything else, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.